In this video, I've got an update for you on my affiliate marketing website, bestroofbox.com. Got the latest traffic numbers and of course the latest earnings. This video is part of a playlist which contains all of the updates and all of the videos around my site. So if you haven't been following along, you can catch up. Just click the link that's appeared in the card up there. This month's been very interesting. Traffic is up 101%. <gasps> but all is not quite what it seems. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. Before we get started, if you're new here, why not subscribe? You can do so by clicking on the button below. Make sure you click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. If you enjoy this video, please click the like button. It really does help me out. So let's start with the updates that I've made to the site. Oh uh, yeah, about that. Well, yeah, I haven't really done much work on the site at all. I've been very, very lazy and I've been doing other stuff and uh, you know, all those excuses that I normally come up with. But um, I do have some articles on order with the writers right now, they're being produced. So hopefully I'll get them in the next few days and then I'll get those published and you know, we can move along. But the good thing is, is the site is still getting loads of traffic and it's still generating some income even though I haven't done any work on it, which I guess is kind of the idea. And it also means that my expenses for this month are, you know, practically zero too, which makes it all profit. So let's take a look at some of the numbers. Let's start with traffic because it's particularly interesting this month. I'll put the analytics up on the screen now. And we can see that traffic is up 101%. If we look at the users, at 14,678 users, versus the 7,288 we had last month. So that is the increase of 101%. In terms of sessions, we've had 18,019 last month. Um, and that's versus 9,960 in the previous month. So that's up 80%. So if you look at those top level numbers, it's fantastic. I mean, what an incredible traffic increase. But, well, I thought something was a little bit strange because with the whole coronavirus thing that's going on at the moment, people, I don't think, are looking for roof boxes as much as they were because, well, you can't go out. You can't go camping, you can't do any of that stuff, so you probably don't really need a roof box. So I had a look a little bit deeper at the analytics, um, and in particular the uh, traffic sources, and if we have a look at that report, you can see that the increase has actually come from direct traffic, which is up 396%. And my search engine traffic, the organic traffic, well, that's actually down, that's down 4%. So that's a little bit weird. I mean, I'd expect the decline on the organic traffic, as I just said, because I don't think people are looking for roof boxes as much as they were. But what is that direct traffic? Well, I don't know for sure, but I think it's coming from YouTube. Or in fact, people seeing videos about the website on YouTube and then, you know, just typing it into their browser and coming to take a look at the site. Not only my videos, because of course I mention the site quite a lot in my videos and that does drive traffic to the, the site. Um, but you know, that's been consistent, I think, since, you know, I launched the site and I started doing these video series. But last month, there was a couple of other YouTubers that created content around my site. Doug Cunnington was one of them, who I know a lot of you are familiar with. He did a few videos about me and about that site. So that's gonna uh, have driven a bit of interest. And also Daryl Wilson, he's quite a popular YouTuber, does lots of WordPress type videos. He did a big video that's been, you know, really busy and really popular on YouTube about creating an affiliate marketing website that again includes a reference to bestroofbox.com. Uh, and in fact, includes me on the actual video. So I think that might be what's driven that direct traffic. Um, looking at the traffic now, it is kind of tailing off a little bit. So I don't think it's gonna skew next month as much, but yeah, um, I need to kind of restrain myself when I look at those numbers and think, I don't think that's actually real uh, roof box traffic because, well, it's not been reflected in the commissions as um, you'll find out in a second. <laughs> so talking about commissions, let's take a look. Here we go. There's amazon.com. We did $221.23 last month, which is down on the month before. Although I should say that there was a couple of rather expensive roof boxes that were ordered at the very end of last month. So um, yeah, they've not been shipped yet. 
And when they do, obviously I'll get the commission for that, but that's gonna now go into this month. Of course, there is one reason why I may not have earned quite as much this month, and that's because Amazon has slashed the commission rates, obviously on um, amazon.com. So although that kind of happened halfway through the month or towards the end of the month, I'm sure it's had a little bit of an effect on how much we're all earning. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. I have done a couple of videos about that, which I'll put links to in the description. Maybe I'll put a link to one of them up in the card now. And I think the effects of that are probably gonna be more noticeable this month, um, but we'll wait and see. If we take a look at amazon.co.uk, that's consistent. In fact, it's about the same amount as last month. It's around 40 pounds, which equates at the current exchange rate to around $50. AdSense was down, which was a little peculiar because you know all that extra traffic has generated some extra page views. Although I think a lot of them were only kind of looking at the homepage. I don't have any ads on the homepage, so uh, that's a problem there. I think I should maybe add some ad sets to the homepage because I'm missing out on a lot of impressions there. But yeah, AdSense uh, was down on last month. It came in at uh, $16.30 for the month. And I think last month it was, you know, 20 odd, 22, 23, something like that. So that's down slightly. But you know, it's only a small amount anyway, so I'm not too worried. So if we add all those numbers together, the total comes in around $278 for the month, which yeah, is down on last month, which was around 400 odd, wasn't it? Um, but it's to be expected, as I say, I think coronavirus is having a big effect on Roofbox sales. I'm also confident that when all this goes away and we can all go back to normal, that roof box sales are gonna fly as everyone wants to get on holiday, get camping and just get out in the world. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. In terms of my plans for the site, well, uh, I think I'm gonna add AdSense to the home pages I just mentioned. I'm also gonna launch a new version of the site. I'm gonna launch a UK version of the site because I think I can convert the UK traffic better with a UK only site and I can also generate more UK traffic with a, uh, a UK version of the site. So it'll be bestreefbox.co.uk. I'm gonna basically take a copy of the site and then I'm gonna rewrite the articles in British English about British cars and using products that are available on amazon.co.uk. So keep an eye out for videos on that. I will of course share everything that I do to the site on this channel right here. So make sure you're subscribed. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed enjoyed it. How are your sites getting on? Let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. Why not check out the vlog channel? Click on my other face. And there are a couple more videos. They've been chosen specially for you. Hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.